Welcome on and all to the Math Magic Show. In this one, we're going to prove that cosine theta equals e to the i theta plus e to the i negative theta over 2. It's a well-known result that allows you to represent the cosine function in terms of the complex exponentials. So we have the following. e to the i theta is equal to cosine theta plus i sine theta. That's Euler. Then we have e to the i negative theta, which is equal to cosine of negative theta, replacing theta with negative theta. And then plus i sine of negative theta. Let's apply a couple of basic rules about sines and cosines. Cosine is even, that means it's cosine of theta is the same as cosine of negative theta. Sine is an odd function, so you can pull that negative outside and it becomes minus i sine theta for that reason. Okay, now what can we do at the next stage? What we can do is just add up the corresponding sides. So I can say that it's e to the i theta plus e to the i negative theta. That is equal to cosine theta plus i sine theta, so the red side there plus cosine theta in blue, minus i sine theta in blue. Let's simplify the right side of that step. So it's going to be i sine theta will cancel with negative i sine theta. Same thing, but different signs, so they cancel away. Then I'm going to have e to the i theta plus e to the i negative theta equals cosine theta plus the cosine theta of blue. On the right side, I've got two cosines. I can add them together. So it's going to be now e to the i theta plus e to the i negative theta equals 2 cosine theta. And then lastly, you get to get cosine by itself, which is what we were trying to find, really. Simply divide both sides by 2. So divide that side by 2. Divide that side by 2. On the right side, cross off the two twos. <laughs> and that's going to give us that e to the i theta plus e to the negative i theta divided by 2 equals cosine theta. And this proves what we set out to prove. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe and I will see you in another video.